We just spoke about uh, the first piece of evidence that um, Ben Carson doesn't seem to be so informed about what's going on that he was surprised that the gay community took offense to him comparing them to people who practice bestiality or pedophilia, for that matter. Well, here is um, the second piece of... I don't even know what to say. Ben Carson on Fox and Friends is asked by the equally astute Ben Ki uh, Brian Kilmeade <laughs> about uh, his comparison of Obamacare to slavery. And uh, this is how he responds. And it's a fairly, you know, I think some people might take offense. Maybe he was surprised, too, that the black community of which he is ostensibly a part somehow finds it a little bit offensive to say the idea that you may have to be mandated to buy health insurance like you are for, say, car insurance, although granted you have a choice as to whether or not you're going to have a car, or that you may be mandated to have a retirement account, which is what we call Social Security, is like being a slave. So here he is with uh, Brian Kilmeade on Fox and Friends. Healthcare, sure. and you have pointed out, and you got a lot of heat for this, to saying that Obamacare is as be, uh, is second only to slavery. Right. If I could just paraphrase your thoughts right. to what it can do to this country. And of course, the, and the issue that I was bringing up is not slavery. The issue is that we have taken the most important thing we have as free Americans and turned it over to the government. And, you know, you go and look at the neo-Marxist literature and see what they say about that. And the need in order to bring America right. to, into a line with everybody else to make the population and you have, dependent. And you have a plan, because you want to have people to have health care. People have a, you know, absolutely. absolutely, but you have a plan to do it. The area I wanted to bring up is something you brought Okay, let's an analyze this. In slavery, the dynamic is, I mean, if we're just going to talk about freedom, Okay, because it's all about the freedom. I was just comparing it to slavery as an issue of freedom, not of actual suffering and destruction of family and the whippings and the beatings. And I was just talking about freedom. Well, if I remember correctly, because I wasn't alive at the time, to be fair, Slavery in this country was not about giving up your freedom to the government, to the federal government. It was actually giving it up to private individuals, right? You could be owned by another person. As far as I can tell, that a mandate that you have private health insurance is... I don't even know what you're giving up to the government there, I guess, other than your freedom to decide you're just going to mooch off the rest of us. But does he talk about the freedom loss in Social Security? This guy is rather uninformed, one might say, about things outside of his sphere, which brings us back to what we were talking about earlier with this Republican lawmaker who has a problem with uninformed voters and his idea is just to have people who own property vote. Well, I guess, lucky for Mr. Carson, Dr. Carson, he owns, I imagine, some property, so he would get a chance to vote. But um, not if there was some type of, uh, I guess, civics class. But he's been reading a lot of the neo-Marxists who want to bring us in line with the other countries by mandating that we buy private insurance. I it was a different neo-Marxist than I've been reading. Unbelievable.